I think that at the moment I am not optimistic about society's ability to curtail its carbon emissions. Carbon keeps rising in the atmosphere and our emissions are growing year on year. I, I, we were not, we're not going to stop at 450 ppmd, which is the target many governments have, have set. So I think we will head towards six or 700. And then um, against my wishes, really, I would rather we didn't have to geoengineer, but it may become necessary to do so, at least to understand which schemes to apply. And, and this is why we really need to do the research now uh, to understand which schemes to apply. Is no doubt the cheapest and probably the easiest scheme is to put aerosol material into the stratosphere, possibly also enhance clouds in the troposphere. So both of these are a solar radiation management method, and these have the advantage of being cheap and relatively easy, but they have some really substantive disadvantages. They change the nature of the energy balance in a very different way to the carbon dioxide which is causing the warming in the first place. And they also um, have unforeseen um, implications in terms of crop production and fertility in the ocean. So there'd be a lot, there's a lot more work that would need to be done before I would want to see us doing any of this solar radiation management. The, um, the other basic way of geoengineering is to do carbon dioxide removal, where you actively take back out of the atmosphere mm -hmm. the carbon dioxide that you put there. And I, I think these are more promising as long-term solutions. The problem is that they're much harder to do and they're much more expensive. Yeah. So if we had to do it right now, we probably couldn't do carbon dioxide removal. It's too expensive and too difficult, and we would have to do solar radiation management. My hope is that in five, sorry, in, in 50 or 60 years, and sometime in the future when we really need to do to make these changes, uh, we will have more mature technology and more mature understanding, so we could choose which which carbon dioxide scheme to pursue, or which of several to pursue.